Mmm. Okay. Dude. I have been mangling cards, SD cards. I've been messing with this thing. Sorry, I mean a little breakfast here. I've been messing with this SD card. I keep breaking everything, guys. So what's up? What's going on? If you're not subscribed, if you give a fuck, I'm not trying to pressure you. If you want to see more of these videos, it's more advantageous for you to subscribe. It's a red rectangular subscribe button up there. But where did it go? Hold on. Look, I was trying to be cute. No, I thought I was just going to pull it right out of the box. But today, boom. You can see up there. Yeah. We're, we're going places in life, guys. We've got the TV mounted. Next, I just need a desk. We've got the PS90 over there. Don't worry. She's safe. She's going away. We're going shooting later. I'm not roasting anything. Might barbecue later. But as you see up here, we have the Kershaw lifter. I'm going to do an unboxing. Before I get into this, I just want to preface this context. I have a big problem with knife reviews when some anyone, some anyone kind of guys, about the stereotype, I don't know what, but just some anyone is going, let's call him a novice, is going to unbox a brand new knife and then tell you how great it is or how bad it is. They haven't used it. So that's not what this video is, although I have had a ton of Kershaw items in the past. We're not gonna get into it. I've had some Benchmade stuff, some whatever, yada, yada, yada. I'm looking for a ZT knife, it's your tolerance. What's good? Yeah, I'm gonna get into this, gonna do a little unboxing on this. We have mitigated the amount of things we've been <laughs> digging through to get to the Solomon boots and uh, that fun little fingerprint scanner. We'll get into that soon, but first, why don't we do a little unboxing chiboha with the Kershaw lifter, black oxide. I don't know what else to tell you other than that. Right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna flip you around, you got this right here, I'm just gonna Drop this down. I don't know what is in here, nothing. And here's where we will do our review unboxing. We're not doing a review, it's just an unboxing. So, that being said, enjoy. Right, so we got this right here. Nice little Kershaw lifter box. Check out this packaging. Pretty sweet. It's gonna be awesome when I have a desk to show you guys all this stuff on and showcase all these things. This was not a sponsored video. Um, yeah. I'm pretty much going off of purchasing this due to price point, appearance, and let's hope function. We'll find that out later in the future. Kershaw is a decent brand. Kai Knives is solid, but this just slides out like that. I believe this is one little piece, yep, little origami piece almost right there. That pops open. And right here, I don't know what that was. My Alexa just said something. <clears throat> Satisfying place that back there. Actually, I'm a big fan of uh, doing this with stuff. Mm. Box is there. Bang. That is that is not the knife that we got. <laughs> this is. I'm going to get into that in a second. But, ooh, look at that. Again, this is not the knife we got, but same setup. Blade stop, thumb stud, flipper lock, pocket lock, butt end. This is not a new knife, but this is, I would say, it looks like the best choice at the price point for what it is. It's a brand you can trust, and that generally sums it up. Got this little plastic baggie. I'm not expecting any amazing packaging, but oh, the finish. The finish. Feel that. You feel that? Feel that. Ooh! Kind of had to give it a flick, I think. It's not assisted too well. Yeah, no. Doesn't open all the way, like 95%, but doesn't get to that class. We got a little frame lock there, I like that. I like the frame lock. It's good stuff. The black oxide finish, very interesting. It's a weathered, weathered look. A little bit of assistance right there. See how long that lasts. Maybe I'll oil that or something, it might be more free moving once we, uh, get that going. Kershaw knives are pretty sweet. And the reason why I got so pumped up about this, um, Amazon, just searching Amazon, actually looking at the ZT, uh, what is it, the 0223, the $300 knife. 
And I wanted to reach out to them to see if they want to send anything out. That way we can do some unboxing reviews. A lot of you guys want EDC content from me, and I'm sorry, but it just doesn't seem to make sense on Track Slayers. Uh, I will incorporate those products into my content just as a lifestyle situation. That's what I'm going to end up doing because it's just me. This is the stuff I like. Firearms, knives, guns, EDC stuff, and uh, cars. What a surprise. Now the... I'm just gonna kind of manipulate this with my hands and play with it and get a feel for it while I explain this stuff to you. But yeah, I saw it online for I think 20 bucks. There's also a like a zombie package or something for like 60. Uh, it doesn't look worth it. I would just say grab this for 20 dollars. This is gonna be the best value you can get. The finish looks real good. This is coming up on camera really well. Pretty identical. Uh, the listing, it's a little bit lighter than the listing says, but it's just like a, a darkened, blued steel. Now for the listing, it's the Kershaw Lifter 1302BW, the tactical Tonto pocket knife with three and a half inch four CR14 steel backwash blade. It's uh, a stainless steel backwash, blackwash handle. I'm sorry if I said backwash, that's super awkward. Speed safe assisted. The frame is Really stiff right there. Speed safe assist. That was a smooth one. Look at that. We're getting there, guys. Look at that. She's she's opening up to us. She's opening up. No, nope, don't cut your hands off, Matt. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're doing things in life, guys. Look at that. That's that's how you want it. You want it down. <clears throat> Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, yeah, speed safe assisted opening and deep carry pocket clip. 3.2 ounce, 3.2 ounces. Yeah, maybe we can test that too. I have a scale. Uh, if I'm not, if I'm not done with this, you got some. You got. Oh, this is good stuff. You just check everything out here. We got this over here. We got the thumb stud right here. Mm, pocket clip back here. The butt end. As you can see, the butt end is, let's focus in on that. What you doing? What you doing? Why is my camera doing that? I'm freaking out, freaking out. Yeah. Look at that. I'm just showing you pictures of my hands. It's, it's not, it's not getting in the zone. There we go, now we're in the zone. Yeah, look at that. Mm. Butt end, pocket clip. You've got your flipper there. We've got the flipper here and the blade stop as well. First impressions, just from holding it in my hand, it's it's heavy-ish, but I like how it looks. And honestly, for like an everyday carry, it, it look, dude, I, I'm prepared by having it. I'm not one of these hardcore zombie apocalypse. Oh, I need it to be. So this, uh, one ounce lighter or whatever. I have other knives for that that are the hardcore knives. This is like a, a Lamborghini in a sense, or my sports car. This is definitely not a Lamborghini of knives. This is like a, this is like my this is like a Porsche Boxster of knives. <laughs> so, with that said, that's what you get. Um, really just wanted to kind of open it, unbox it, play with it with you guys, and give you my initial thoughts. I like it. I'm not upset. I'm probably going to get a second one, have one to get dirty, and have one as my little princess to kind of keep in my pocket in my clean clothes because I have nice shit and I don't want to get that stuff dirty, but then I do have field work that I need to do, and uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of the way this looks. I just hope she doesn't break on me. Now she's, she's not shy anymore. This thing's a bit shy in the beginning, but I'm glad we got her, uh, glad we got her opened up. Let's see if I can get a little picture here for a thumbnail. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's what I like to see. Bang. Oh, yeah. That's thumbnail-tastic right there. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Just wanted you to uh, see there's going to be a link below for this knife if you want it. It's an Amazon affiliate link. If you want to support us, buy it through there. Buy whatever you want through there, actually. If you want to keep coming back here and clicking on our videos and buying stuff through there, um, you don't pay any extra. If anything, you actually end up getting Amazon deals, and if you have the Amazon card, you get 5% off, but 
yeah, man, you're going to support the channel, and it's at no cost to you. We just get a little kickback for referring you to Amazon's website. That is the affiliate program they have. So, hope you like this little unboxing. I'm going to go enjoy this thing. I have a little trip i got to go back to. But yeah, I don't know what else to say. I just keep flicking her open because it gets easier and easier every time. Obviously, I expected that, but yeah, there you go. You got the bang, bang, bang. I think that's her thumbnail right there, boys. Oh, yeah. Huh.